Hey guys, Katie here, and today we're going to be doing a lymphatic drainage protocol with reflexology. So the lymphatic system helps a lot with detoxifying the body, it helps with keeping our immune system strong, it helps with any type of swelling that you might be having in the body, just kind of flushing out all the toxins that we might be holding. So the reason why we need to help our lymphatic system is because it does oftentimes get backed up. It is something that does not have a pump like our blood that runs through our body. It does need us to move and do different things in order for it to continue to be in motion. So some reasons why the lymphatic system can get backed up would be things like if you're someone who's stationary a lot, so if you don't have a lot of movement to keep that lymphatic system going, um, poor diet, if you're on a whole bunch of different type of medications that can sometimes back it up, but basically poor lifestyle, not a lot of movements can cause that, that lymphatic system to really stop or become very stagnant. When this happens, you might notice that you have a little bit of lack of energy, you might not have a proper immune system, so you might be getting colds more often, you might have a little bit more swelling, so if you have a lot of edema um, throughout the body, so swelling throughout the body, your lymphatic system needs just a little bit more help. Um, I even notice that whenever my lymphatic system isn't working properly, I break out a bit more, so I'm not detoxifying properly. So if I start to get breakouts like I am now, I usually will start doing my lymphatic drainage protocol just to kind of get things moving. So pretty much everybody can benefit from doing some lymphatic drainage. Even if you are someone that moves around a good bit, it's always good just to help it out, give it a little bit of assistance, a little bit of love. So this is an easy way to do so. So this protocol, as always, I only do reflexology on the face. I'm a facial reflexologist. So even though it's just on the face, it is lymphatic drainage for the entire body. So with facial reflexology, we have different maps and points all over the face, but today we're going to be following a map of just a little man that we have right on the front of our face, and this will be able to allow us to do lymphatic drainage for the entire body. So with that in mind, that helps you give a little bit of better understanding of what we're working on when we're doing our lymphatic drainage protocol on the face. So there's, if you're looking at the map, it's going to be a head right here, then it's going to be the little neck, the arms, this is going to be the torso of the body, kind of like the groined area. This is going to be the legs coming all the way down here and then the feet and that will be mirrored on the other side. So with that in mind, we're gonna grab our detector. If you have a detector, great. If you don't, you can go ahead and use something like a pen as well. Um, but you're gonna use this detector. If you have it today, we're gonna to be using the three prong side and we're going to start on the little man right in his armpit area. So we're gonna just flush everything and work our way down. Okay, so taking this side of our detector, you're going to go ahead and place your detector right on the side of the nose. And you're going to swing it up along underneath the brow. So this is going to be everything from the side body up the arm. So you have all those lymph nodes in, in the armpit. So we're just working out that area here. Now as far as pressure, it's going to be pretty medium. You want to be able to feel it. You're not hurting yourself. And your pressure wants to be consistent going up and down. You don't want to be pressing harder going up and pressing lighter going down. Keep it pretty consistent. And we're going to do this about 30 times. Do it anywhere from 30 to 50. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to take this part of your detector and you're going to work down the back. So again, 30 to 50 times going up and down, same amount of pressure. You might notice that your sinuses start to open a good bit. Taking it back to this and we're going to work around the groin area. So we have a lot of lymph nodes right in the groin. So this is just going to be around the nostril so go ahead and take it on the side of the nose and just working back and forth other side and i'm not counting here so i'm just ballparking it as usual And then we're going to work down the leg. So this is going to be kind of like the upper thighs. And again, consistency, just pressure up and down. Now this can be done if you are battling any type of swelling. So perhaps you were flying somewhere or um, 
you're pregnant and you're just having some swelling, um, you can do this a couple times throughout the day. If you're battling some acne, I would do this a couple times throughout the day. So whatever you're working on, best to do this protocol a couple times a day. If you're just wanting to do it for maintenance reasons, I would just do it once a day if you can, right before you do like your normal reflexology protocol because I know you guys all do this pretty consistently. So now we're doing the lower part of the body or the lower part of the leg. So this is gonna be like the calf area. I usually do all of my reflexology right before I go to bed. Like I said before, I keep this on the nightstand, do this, then I hit a few of my points that I might be working on. Just kind of keeps it a reminder to do it daily. And then you're gonna go right into this little crease here and we're gonna work the feet. Okay, now we're gonna just work around the ears. So we're just gonna go down and all the way up. I like to do this at night because it is pretty relaxing for the most part. So it just kind of helps calm the mind, calm the body before you go to sleep. You can do that as many times as you can. It's a little bit more tricky to do up and down I would do that about 20 to 30 times. Take like the video, I'm not, and back around this side as well. Okay, and that is it. So that is a super quick and easy protocol you can do for lymphatic drainage. Like I said, if you're struggling with something specific, I would do it a couple of times a day. If you're just wanting to do it for maintenance, a lot of times people like to do it just because it gives your skin more of a glow. Um, you can do it just once a day, morning, night, whatever works for you. I just do mine at night. But I hope you found that helpful and I will be sure to share more videos like that soon. All right, take care guys, bye. Love ya.